Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install a free SSL certificate on your WordPress site thanks to Let's Encrypt and Plesk Onyx. It's a very funky new addition to Plesk Onyx that you can use uh, an add-on to install free SSL certificates for your websites. Now this will encrypt traffic between your server and the client's web browser. And uh, that's usually something that you have to pay money for, usually something along the lines of $20 a year. Um, and it isn't a fully fledged SSL certificate that you can use for mail or to secure Plesk itself, but you can use it to encrypt traffic between your website and the client's browser. And the implication about that is that Google have recently released uh, a new policy about search results. And that is if you have unsecured traffic, so the traditional HTTP traffic going from a server to a client's browser, then they may penalize you in a way uh, of lowering your search ranking. And likewise, if you have encrypted web traffic going between the server and the client's browser, then you get higher search results. And uh, now you can get it for free and it's literally doable in a few clicks, all thanks to Plesconics. So let's see, we're going to use um, Plesconics 17.0.17, so the version that just came out after being the release candidate. Uh, WordPress 4.6.1 at the time of uh, recording the latest and greatest version of WordPress there is. I'm recording this video in November 2016, by the way. I'm going to do this on a Mac on Safari 10.0.1, and I'm going to use El Capitan 10.11.6. So with all those bits and bobs out of the way, let's see, let's jump right in and see what we can do. Uh, first of all, we're going to have a look at Plesk. So this is Plesk Onyx, the hosting control panel, and I'm going to encrypt this website here, versluis.com. That's my 3D blog. And at the bottom here, you'll see this Let's Encrypt setting. If you don't see that, then it may not be installed on your server. If you're running your own server, you can install that. I'll show you how to do that. If you use shared hosting, then your hosting provider may not have enabled this option, in which case ask them if they do provide Plesk, then uh, they can definitely do that and it's all free. The same extension is available for cPanel. So if your shared hoster is using cPanel, then you can also get that and the, the, uh, the activation is going to be very similar. But before we go into this and uh, enable this website for free SSL traffic, if you're running your own server, let me see where you can enable this just in case it's not showing. And that's under tools and settings here. Updates and upgrades. And that'll open a new tab up here. Uh, that's the Plesk installer. And these are all the features that you can get with Plesk. So on the very bottom here, there's a box called Plesk extensions. That's usually blue. That means some are selected, some are not selected. Green means this is all selected. And red means, the uh, little red X means it's not selected at all. So click on this little plus sign at the top and you see the uh, Plesk extensions that are available. And at the very bottom here, that's Let's Encrypt. So if that has a red X next to it, then uh, just switch it over and uh, turn it into a green tick box. Hit continue and then Plesk will install this extension and you can go ahead and use it on your websites. Let me go back to my subscription here and uh, select this option. Now let's encrypt versluis.com. So it explains a little bit about what Let's Encrypt is. So you can follow this link and find out. It's a certificate authority that allows you to create a free SSL certificate for your domain. By clicking the install button, you acknowledge that you have read, uh, agreed to the Let's Encrypt terms and conditions. Of course, we agree to that. And we, all we need to do is provide an email address here. This is not the right one. I'm going to uh, provide this one here. And the current certificate is what's just known as the default certificate. So that is uh, what's currently securing my website. It's nothing really. It's a self-signed certificate by Plesk and web browsers don't like that. They often flag this as a security warning because even though the traffic is encrypted, there's no third party in the way that says this certificate has been installed from a reliable provider as such. So if you have something like a GeoTrust certificate or um, Rapid SSL or all these uh, these things, Symantec, those those types of certificates, they have a certificate authority. That's the CA. That's the third party that 
tells the web browser this certificate is genuine rather than it says it's secured but hey who knows if it really is that's that's the problem if a two-way authentication is there then that's that's why the security things get flagged up but with the certificate authority that is basically the third party that says hey this certificate is genuine therefore your traffic is definitely encrypted so it's just telling me that the default certificate here is being replaced with the let's encrypt one and it's also asking me here would you like to include www.verselewis.com as an alternative domain name and i do want to do that so both verselewis.com and www.verselewis.com requests are going to be um, directed via the ssl certificate that's all we need to do hit install let plesk do its thing for a few seconds Okay, that's done it. It's telling me here information. Let's encrypt SSL certificate was successfully installed on versalos.com. That's great. That's part one done. That's the Plesk part done. Uh, now let's have a look at the WordPress part. So if we head over and uh, go to that website now, I'm already logged in here in the control panel. I can see that my URL is currently a non-secured URL. So it's HTTP. And it stays that way, even if I type in HTTPS. Because what WordPress does is it will... Uh, there we go. Did you see that little, um, little lock icon here in front of the URL? What WordPress does is it will redirect the traffic to, the, uh, to a URL that is set in the general settings here. To make sure that every link that ever comes in here is going to be redirected to HTTPS. We need to change this quick setting here in um, in WordPress. And here's how to do that. Once you're logged in under settings down here under general, we can see the WordPress address and the site address. And those are values in the database that define where your um, URLs are coming from, so what domain uh, they're coming from, what protocol they're using. So in my case, they're using a non-secured HTTP protocol. And we don't want that because my server now can encrypt the traffic. I'm just going to add an S here in WordPress address and also in site address. Now these values are different. Uh, make sure you amend them both once you've tested this uh, with the plain URL here. And uh, when you're happy, hit save changes on the bottom and these values will be saved in WordPress's database and they're going to be active from right now. And there you go, it's locked me out because Safari is clever enough to say hey uh, you were not logged into HTTPS versus .com. you were logged into HTTP versus .com. so um, please log in again. I believe that is 13 here, see if it works. And now no matter which link I click I will always be redirected to the HTTPS protocol and I can see that little um, that little uh, lock icon there as well. And sometimes if Safari lets me, you can even click on it and get information about that certificate. And there we go. If you click on that little lock icon, then it says Safari is using an encrypted connection to versalos.com and you can say show certificate on Firefox and Google Chrome. You have similar options and you can see which certificate authority is providing the proof that this is a genuine certificate here. So if this isn't in case and this is sometimes has a little red X here that says the certificate is valid, but we can't verify its validity as such by a third party. In this case, it's all valid. It's all good. Some details here and the trust store. And that's it. So now you have secured web traffic from websites and it's completely free thanks to Let's Encrypt and Plesconix. That was it. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please share it with friends, family and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. I will see you next time.